Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Taking another look at downtown Miami, big changes on the way. I mean, it looks a little <laughs> overcast now, but it has been so foggy the last few days. I'm ready for the sun to come back out. And, and so chilly, too. Mm -hmm. In fact, I went to a pajama party on Christmas Eve. I had a leather jacket over my uh, pajamas. It looked oh, a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> it good was cool luck. enough. Yeah, yeah. That's a good look, Jim. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> he pulled it off, I'm sure. And it's kind of surprising how many people, Miami folks, actually have winter coats yeah. Yeah. And, and have boots. them available and boots just like I'm wearing my boots today <laughs> but yes everybody has winter coats and that's great because you got to yeah. be prepared for whatever you get huge turnaround Christmas Day it was only 50 degrees it was the coldest Christmas on record here in Miami low early in the morning was 45 degrees. Now look what's going to happen as we go into New Year's. Just one week difference. Forecast high of 83 degrees, 33 degree difference. Just one week apart. Low is going to be 71 degrees for New Year's Eve. So our weather here looks just beautiful, fabulous. There still are a few showers off the coast out in the Bahamas. They're going to sit out there. We still have a northerly wind, but that northerly wind is really modifying now some heavy rain well off to the south and east. That's not going to bother us whatsoever. No frontal system in here either. So if we go into Wednesday, still kind of getting a north northeasterly flow, just a few clouds, partly cloudy, but I expect most areas to stay dry. There could be a spot shower along the coast and that's really about it. Let's take that into Thursday and Friday. We have a front that tries to approach from the north. Don't worry, not going to get any further south. It'll head back north again. We stay dry and warm up even more. We're looking for highs back in the lower 80s, the kind of stuff that we had before Christmas, remember? Here's your modeling. There's those showers just along the coast here. A little bit of a convergent zone there. So our winds begin to turn tomorrow northeasterly, then easterly, and then by the end of the weekend, even kind of a southeasterly proponent to it. So yes, that's why the humidity is coming up. That's that low level moisture, but we're not going to see any rain out of it. We don't have a lifting mechanism. There's no frontal system getting in here. Just a few more clouds. And if you do get a shower, it would just be a light shower, spot shower. We'll give it only about a 10 to 20% chance for any showers at all. Temperatures tomorrow will top out in the mid to upper 70s. Yep, we're getting right back up there again. So anywhere you want to go across South Florida is looking very nice. As a matter of fact, a lot of folks are visiting from out of town. And what do you do when you go to Miami? You go to the beach, right? Here's your beach forecast. You got to watch out for that rip current risk. We still have it quite high with that onshore flow now turning to the east again. Northeasterly winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Not bad. Surf at 1 to 2 feet. UV index with the sun back out again. It's going to be moderate. You got to use the sunscreen. You can burn very easily. Water temperature still standing in the upper 70s, so you can still get in the water. Here's your New Year's Eve weekend forecast. Friday, just a few clouds. It should be dry on that day. New Year's Eve day, a high of 83 degrees. That would be close to a record high, which is 84. I believe that. And then New Year's on Sunday, just maybe a spot shower later in the day, but really nice with a high of 83. So here's your forecast. Let's take through all of the day. Tomorrow's highs in the upper 70s were 80 by Thursday, maybe a spot shower. Dries out and then Saturday, Sunday, New Year's Day, beautiful 83 degrees. Monday and Tuesday, we're back into the 80s and that's your next weather.